Photo walking is a communal activity of camera enthusiasts who gather in a group to walk around with a camera for the main purpose of taking pictures of things that interests each photographer. Although the term implies the single activity of taking pictures while walking, the more modern use of the term specifically relates to a communal activity of camera enthusiasts. The activity is typically organized by camera clubs, ad hoc gatherings from online forums such as Facebook or Twitter, or sponsored by commercial organizations or photographers. These events usually take the form form of a designated walking tour with a planned route or map. Often the aim is to practice and improve one's own photography skills rather than a specific focus on documentary photography. While the camera need not be a digital camera or a DSLR, in practice the low cost of digital photography and the ease of digital photo processing and online photo sharing allow a casual approach in photo walking. As with any walking that may go a few miles or kilometers, photo walking can also promote physical fitness. Photo walking is sometimes compared to street photography, a type of documentary photography activity. However, although a person participating in a photo walk may practice street photography, they are not limited to that scope. They may also practice macro photography, architectural photography, nature photography, etc. Also, street photography is typically an activity practiced as an individual photographer rather than in a group. Additionally, modern photo walks are not limited to walking streets. Organized photo walks can take place at places like the CERN Laboratory, the Fermilab Laboratory, and museums. Photo walkers, those who participate in photo walks, can rely on each other for technical suggestions and artistic inspiration. However, because it is so tightly coupled with the social aspect of group photography, photo walking can have benefits other than just exercise and photography practice. For example, in some situations, there is safety in numbers and the photography experience can be more enjoyable in a group. Photo walks also encourage participants to conduct themselves in a responsible manner while in a group setting. Many members of the general public will view a person with a camera with great suspicion. The expectation is that only terrorists, spies, and sexual predators carry around a camera. A well-organized photo walk group is a photographic ambassador, an opportunity for the general public to see that photographers are not criminals. Unfortunately, without tight controls and good organization, events can get out of control and in some cases involve the police. To help grow the photo walk community, the organizer may also provide a location for viewing each other's images, or a meal or meet and greet once a photo walk is complete. Many photo walk organizations also participate in fundraisers and charities, or donate money to the locations or museums they visit. Abstract photography, sometimes called non-objective, experimental, conceptual or concrete photography, is a means of depicting a visual image that does not have an immediate association with the object world and that has been created through the use of photographic equipment, processes or materials. An abstract photograph may isolate a fragment of a natural scene in order to remove its inherent context from the viewer, it may be purposely staged to create a seemingly unreal appearance from real objects, or it may involve the use of color, light, shadow, texture, shape and or form to convey a feeling, sensation or impression. The image may be produced using traditional photographic equipment like a camera, darkroom or computer, or it may be created without using a camera by directly manipulating film, paper or other photographic media, including digital presentations. There has been no commonly used definition of the term abstract photography. Books and articles on the subject include everything from a completely representational image of an abstract subject matter, such as Aaron Siskin's photographs of peeling paint, to entirely non-representational imagery created without a camera or film, such as Marco Brewer's fabricated prints and books.
The term is both inclusive of a wide range of visual representations and explicit in its categorization of a type of photography that is visibly ambiguous by its very nature. Many photographers, critics, art historians and others have written or spoken about abstract photography without attempting to formalize a specific meaning. Alvin Langdon Coburn in 1916 proposed that an exhibition be organized with the title Abstract Photography, for which the entry form would clearly state that no work will be admitted in which the interest of the subject matter is greater than the appreciation of the extraordinary. The proposed exhibition did not happen, yet Coburn later created some distinctly abstract photographs. Photographer and professor of psychology John Suler, in his essay Photographic Psychology, Image and Psyche, said that an abstract photograph draws away from that which is realistic or literal. It draws away from natural appearances and recognizable subjects in the actual world. Some people even say it departs from true meaning, existence, and reality itself. It stands apart from the concrete whole with its purpose instead depending on conceptual meaning and intrinsic form. Here's the acid test, if you look at a photo and there's a voice inside you that says what is it? Well, there you go. It's an abstract photograph.